What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode of the iPhone 5S iOS 9.3.2 speed test. Now, in this video, we're just gonna kinda do, you know, some quick speed tests that we, you know, like to do to uh, see how it performs on the latest iOS 9.3.2. Now, to confirm that we are on that version, I am gonna go into the iPhone and go over into settings. Let me zoom in the camera a little bit so you can see this. Go into settings here, go to general. I'm gonna go to about device and you can see we are on the latest iOS 9.3. And now I didn't do a you know a full feature set video on this due to the fact that the main features that it brought were just some few slight bug tweaks here and there and some bug enhancements, nothing too major. So I don't think that you know it's worth making a full set video on a version that only offers slight improvements. We will be doing iOS 10 video on this device though when iOS 10 drops here. But it did bring some bug fixes to Bluetooth, but what that was on the iPhone SE and some other browser stuff and you know a few other applications nothing too big but what we want to see is how does the device perform on ios 9.3.2 over ios 9.3.1 and as you can see in my speed test of ios 9.3.1 it performed fine on there so let's test this out first with the fingerprint scanner so you can see nice stuff right there let's do that again awesomeness let's do that again totally sick let's do that again so you can see the fingerprint scanner, no problems here whatsoever. Yes, it's not iPhone, you know, 6S fast, but it is pretty good nonetheless. So let's start now closing out the application in the background and let's go into weather. Oh, missed that one. Let's go into weather. Let's come back out. Let's load calendar. Let's come back out. Let's go into clock. Let's come back out and you can see things are still pretty slick and smooth here. Although the iOS is starting to feel a little bit slower than it used to be on um, the iPhone 5S in terms of the power, I feel like the iPhone 5S's power is lacking a little bit now compared to the newer iPhones, but that's only if you put them side by side. In day-to-day -day use, the 5S is still a great device, as I've mentioned in plenty of my other videos. So you could see, let's just take a few pictures here. You could see still blazing fast on the burst mode. There's no lag swiping through these menus. You can see right there, there's no glitch. And you'll know when your iPhone's getting slow, when you know you start to do things like this and you see it chop like that when it comes down, you'll know then that the iPhone is starting to get slow and show its age. But I don't see any here on the pull down menus there. You can see I'm doing this in real time. So you can see there's no glitch there, no lag there. Going on the notification pull up or whatever you wanna call it, quick toggles control, Apple stole this from Android, just put it on the bottom. But let's go ahead and do this real quick. You can see it goes up and down nice and smoothly there. No issues there. And we did go in the application, scrolling inside of the application, no issues there. Let's do a speed test to see if the Wi-Fi is still strong here on iOS 9.3. Now this does you know, matter depending on your Wi-Fi connection. If you have a slower Wi-Fi, connection this is going to be a bit slower for your device but I got pretty decent Wi-Fi here or else we wouldn't be <laughs> putting stuff on YouTube because it would take forever but uh, let's go ahead and see how this pings up my guess is you know 50 megs per second we're gonna see oh I was way off today 19 20 24 oh there it goes 35 30 oh 40 40 come on Hang in there, boy. You got it, 50, I saw 50, come on. Ah, oh, we always had it. Oh, 40, 48 megabits per second download. Let's see the upload now. So my upload speeds. If you're wondering what kind of internet service I rock out with, I rock out with, uh, what's that, that Xfinity? Xfinity, that's the, the company. I don't know the exact plan, but I rock out with them, Xfinity. So that's right now, you know, it is, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon, so a lot of people are using the Wi-Fi right now. At nighttime, that's a lot quicker, actually. But you can see it does hold Wi-Fi strength pretty well. Going in through the applications, just fine here as well on the iPhone, you know, 5S here. You can see this is iOS 9.3.2, no issues there whatsoever here. Now let's go ahead and play a quick YouTube video to see how it renders up on YouTube. We're gonna play one of mine for copyright reasons. Let's go to, not history, let's go to my videos. And uh, let's play this, whatever video I click. Let's go here. So LG Phoenix 2 unboxing. Yes, I do got the Phoenix 2 review in process coming soon. But you can see, no issues there. 
on playing YouTube videos. Let's just do one quick browser test. Let's go into Amazon.com here. And you can see, bam, flies right on through. No lags there. So, I mean, there's, no much, there's nothing more else I need to show you guys here. If you're wondering about updating to the iOS 9.3.2, I have not found any bugs or issues here on my iPhone. 5s from my experience now i know a lot of people say that there's so many bugs with these newer versions of ios but from my experience i don't see any you know battery life yes it's not the greatest on the iphone 5s but it easily gets four to five hours on screen time and if you're on your phone more than five hours on screen time per day then um, you might want to reevaluate <laughs> what uh, your priorities are but anyways that's you know just the opinion Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tech videos. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.